What is up my nerd nation? How are you guys? I'm doing great. I uh, just got back from New York Comic Con actually and uh, this whole video is basically going to be about all the things I got there. So let's start off with one of my favorite items that I've been meaning to get for years now um, and that is the set of Dragon Ball. Yes, all seven Dragon Balls are here. They're very, very sturdy, very awesome. And I actually have a four star ball already so that's up for grabs. Um, I'm going to be giving it away either during a stream or possibly uh, another time. And while we're on the topic of Dragon Ball Z, uh, I was super surprised and really stoked to find out that uh, Sean Schemmel and Chris Sabat were both going to be there, and they are the voices of Goku and Vegeta. And uh, turns out, if um, if you purchase a copy of Battle of the Gods while there, uh, you get a free autographing from the two of them, which are right there. I don't know if you can see from the glare, but it was... It, it was an awesome opportunity to meet them. Um, though the line was rushed, there was not much time to talk to them or ask Goku to do a Kamehameha. But anyways, meeting them uh, for the first time is, is ridiculous after watching this show for like 15 years. You know, it's pretty crazy. Uh, next up, real quick, we got a few books. Uh, I got an indie manga called uh, Kamen or Kamen. Uh, I read this really quickly on the train. It's actually really interesting and I plan on getting part two. Um, but it's a uh, Basically about a guy who uh, wakes up with a mask on. He can't take the mask off, but he has like tremendously awesome powers. And uh, I purchased this little book. Uh, it's like this tiny book, um, Dirty Jokes Every Man Should Know, and it's actually pretty funny. I'm not gonna read any of them on camera because they're actually pretty dirty. Um, and then I purchased this uh, little History of Video Games book just because why not? It was, uh, it was nice, neat, very small, and. It goes all the way up to the Wii U too, so it's pretty cool. And as a freebie, one of the uh, booths actually gave me this tic-tac-toe book. Um, basically, you play against the book. Basically, you go to page one, and you pick a number on where you want to put your, your uh, X. And so you, you choose your number, and that's the page number. You flip through the page to that next page, and usually there will have you know, there will be more, you know, the book will play against you, basically. And uh, I was told that there's only one way to win. And this is thick. This is a thick book, too. And there's apparently only one way to win this against the book. So that's really cool. I've yet to find the page. Next up, I picked up, you know, a set of dice. Uh, pretty cool. They're, um, they are green and purple and a little bit of gold. It's a, it's a seven die set, and it's actually it's, uh, just really nice. Uh, I don't play too many uh, dice rolling games, but I like dice anyways, so I got it. Got a free Captain America comic book. Cool. Uh, real quick, I'm going to move into the autographs I ended up getting. Uh, I ended up meeting Vic Mignogna, and he um, is the voice of Edward Elric and Broly from uh, Dragon Ball Z, along with uh, like various, various other voices. So this was this was really, really cool to get. And on top of getting the autograph, I ended up buying a uh, Christmas CD of his, um, and it's actually him uh, doing. It's him, and then there's a duet with uh, Johnny Bosch. Johnny Young Bosch is. Uh, he was the second Black Ranger in Mighty Morphin, and I just, I can't wait to see this. And I did just mention Rory, so here it is, got an autograph of Rory, um, and that was really cool. I also met Ralph Macchio, uh, the original Karate Kid, as well as Billy Zabka, uh, who was basically his rival in the Karate Kid movies, and this is pretty sweet. Uh, on top of those autographs, of course, there was the Dragon Ball Z autograph on the movie, which was still, like, mind-blowing. And let's move along to uh, posters and prints. Um, I got a free Video Game High School Season 3 poster. Um, there's this side, and then there's this side, the official poster. Uh, this is basically, you, you got it while waiting in line uh, at Comic-Con, which was pretty sweet. Uh, after getting the autograph from the uh, DBZ voice actors, I got a free poster for Battle of Gods. Um, after purchasing two t-shirts, uh, which you can see right here and right here, and I actually got a third, which you can see right here. Um, they're actually really cool t-shirts. Uh, I don't have them physically on me right now. They're in the wash, so I had to show you guys pictures. But I got a free print out of it, a really, really cool Zelda print. A blink -wee. Anyways, I might have gone a little overboard on buying prints this year. I normally never do, but they just looked so cool and I, uh, I, I really liked them, but I ended up getting seven Power Ranger prints. Every single original Ranger. I got red, yellow, black. Like these prints are actually really nice. And uh, someone, someone had told me I should frame all seven of them. I don't know if I can do that. Green and of course 
um, and the White Ranger. This one, this print is like extra big for some reason, but awesome prints. Other than those prints, I met uh, another artist. His name is James, and um, he had really wonderful prints as well. This is an Adventure Time print of his. Like, what? <laughs> Pretty awesome. Um, I bought three of his. So there's this one, and the ones that caught my eye for his booth were these two. Um, Mega Man and Zero. Uh, it, oh my god, I, I can't. I just can't. These are amazing and I'm gonna have these forever. But he also was kind enough to sign both prints, um, all three prints I mean. And I just, I, yeah. <clears throat> like I, I, as soon as I saw these I was like, I need those. Um, after chatting in with him for a while, um, he actually pointed me in the direction of another booth which was his girlfriend's. And she did fantastic prints as well, her and another friend. Uh, we have the Attack on Titan print here. Very, very awesome. Um, a great Asuna. And a Sinon. Just in time because I've been uh, caught up with uh, Gun Gale for a while now. So this is really cool as well. Uh, they didn't have a Kirito. I would have not bought the Attack on Titan and bought a Kirito badass print instead had they had it so I could complete the set. But they didn't. So moving on to the last item, I knew that Loot Crate had a booth there and uh, that they were giving away a New York Comic Con exclusive crate. I missed it on Friday. I was like super late on Friday. But on Saturday I beelined there, got in the line, and got the crate. Thank God. Um, but this is it right here and I've waited until now to open it on camera because you can't get a Loot Crate without doing it on unboxing. Come on. Uh, without further ado, let me just rush through the items in the crate. Um, so the first item I see is a projector pen. What? Oh my god. It projects the bat symbol. Maybe you can make it out? There it is. Maybe you can make that out. It projects the bat symbol from the pen. That's badass. Or badass. <laughs> Next we have a Loot Crate wristband. Sweet. Wearing that right now. So if I don't have enough wristbands, it's only three, but yes. I uh, got an exclusive Loot Crate and Comic Con um, lanyard. I wish I had had this earlier. I've been wearing a Funimation lanyard, which is also not bad. Um, oh, they actually included another Mighty Wallet. I actually have a Batman version of this, so it's actually really cool that I got the Superman version this time. That's pretty sweet. I uh, got a little looter tag sticker badge thingy. Um, I wonder if I was supposed to have this on my Comic Con thing. Oh, one Warhead. A New York Comic Con exclusive button. Sweet. So I'm actually gonna have 13 by the end of this year. That's really cool. A Pac-Man stress ball. Yes. <laughs> that's awesome. Waka 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 waka. <laughs> that's a that's a neat little stress ball. It's probably for, meant to be used at Comic Con while waiting in line and like freaking out. Awesome. I ended up getting a bag, it's a Loot Crate and Comic Con exclusive bag. And the best item in here is a special pop figurine of a Domo Batman. I know, I know they were giving away a Domo Superman before, um, in the previous grade, so this is actually a real neat addition. This is a really legit Domo Batman. Oh my god. That's sick. He has a Batarang in hand and everything. It's actually very, it's like really sturdy. Oh my god. I don't think, I don't think I've uh, had any uh, figures of that like this. That's really neat. So guys, that was my Comic Con haul for uh, 2014, which was more than enough for me. I spent way too much money at this con, but it was all worth it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and comment if you did. And also stay tuned on my channel for the New York Comic Con cosplay montage. I might have to do two this year again because I have like 120 cosplayers on video and I didn't know I recorded that many people. So I'm trying to showcase everybody. But yeah, once again, guys, thank you so much for watching this and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later! Thank you so much for watching that video guys. You can check out my previous video by clicking on the big preview that's playing right now, or you can click on the other two small previews on the right side and see if you like something there. Also be sure to check out my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts, all the links are in the description below. And of course, like, comment, share, and subscribe.